have three of my friends. On the end, we have a goth, which is 18, so she's more to the middle of my target audience. Then we have a techno goth, which is 16, so he's right towards the lower, lower part of my target audience. And then we have techno, who's 21, so she's towards the higher part of my... And two of them have... <laughs> Two of them have uh, handouts of dark tech, so they can use it to refer to. Okay? So, first, I want us to look at the magazine as a whole. Blood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of dark, you need some more colour. Well, this is trying to appeal to everyone, so maybe dark is slightly better. I think it's good. I like I, I like the um, typography. I think you could you could use more imagery. Okay. Also, but I like the colours. Yeah, I give it a flick through. I think your title needs to be a, a brighter colour, though. It doesn't your attention kind of fades into the background. It's like you're reading out of a book, man. It's awesome. Okay. They're them, yeah? Yeah, they're them. Yeah. They're okay. them. Okay. They okay. do stand out. Yes, speaking for both sides, because I am both. Yes, it does. <laughs> Hello, I think your blue on your your blue on your contents page is kind of blurring in with the black. Blurry in the colour. It's only the colour. Yeah, the the blue. Oh yeah, the blue. Okay. The top blue. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Oh, okay, dokie. Awesome, by the way. Maybe, maybe lighten up the blue a bit, like the same colour you've got on the top text there. Maybe bring that into the other uh, title. Below. Yeah, it needs to stand out. Like I say, you need some more colour in it. It's all the same kind of some colour. I mean, the only colour you have on there is the red of the blood, and that's really it. starting to reach 
those pages, and I think the imagery you've got on there is really good. Mm. Mm. I still think it's too crowded. But it's based to reflect the target audience, which would possibly just be getting their first house or be going into college, so they'd most likely have a pin board, which is what that's trying to reflect. So it would be crowded. And chaotic. Precisely. You can sell free pins with the magazine. But again, I feel you're only staying to two... Pa- I think it's good that it's consistent, because it's professional if it's always consistent colours, but I think, like, again, brighter colours looks a bit morbid. Okay. take on scraps of paper and it also helped make the cover line contents lines Can I ask readable. A question? Yep. You always assume that your target audience is students, but what if no. techno because I know some people into techno young people that are gone from school straight into work. So why why are you assuming that they're students? I'm not assuming that they're students. I'm assuming that they've just bought their own house or have a student. So they need to keep track of things like paying the rent and Sorting out lunch and getting, working out how to use their pay so they'd still have a pin board. But why a pin board? Why not? I'm, a, I'm sorry, I'm an art student, I've got to shut up. Personally, I'm not feeling the 3D thing. No, the only 3D thing there is your blood. pain, blood. I would say. I still think it's awesome though. Okay. I like the way you've uh, collaged the pictures together. Mm. Organised chaos. One of my specialties. Mm-hmm. No, just chaos. Fair enough. The light blue is the page numbers. The blue is the... The dark blue tells you what the title of the article is, and the white who does. Up here. Yeah. No, these ones, dear. Oh. See the column. In the column. See, that's where they are. That's what it is, and that's who it's by. Oh. I would swap the colours to the round, so you have what it is in white and who it's by by blue, and okay. then you can keep the same colours because who it's by is not really that important. Yeah. Okay. Because that's when I look at this, the first thing I see is a bunch of names. Yeah. yeah. And then a blur. It's like, what is this, a register or something? You have to take attendance to read it. It's George. Okay. More significant. Significant. Shut your face. More significant if you... I'm sorry, you've got death threats in your work. More significant if you see what the title is, because people are meant to read it and then see, oh, actually, I want to know more about that, instead of see, by Molly D. Oh. Because not many people actually follow it by the writer. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, who is Molly D? But when, like, Where did she example, come from? If you see, like, your favourite singer in there and say, your favourite singer is pregnant. Seven says pregnant. Oh, my God! <gasps> Yay! And then you find out who the ask was by. Okay. Yeah. Ah, Because that really doesn't, you don't really care about who I was, to be honest. It's all about what's inside the cow. No. Across the images. Yeah, I think it reminds me of the tune, so. Okay, that's one way to look at it. Yeah, I was thinking more well, like this this records, but yeah, I like it too. No, well, fair enough. I wouldn't say copied, because that infers copyright, which means you need to pay for it. What I would say instead is inspired magpied. by. Well, yeah, Do magpied you like by. it, yes or no? Yes. So, wait, wait. Well, you're making no yes. sense at all. It's down here, yeah. in this. <laughs> oh, right. See, so if that's open at that, you know where what it is. What issue it is, what issue of the magazine it's the same it is. Because it's I think a copy it's a bit of the reading. Because Just, wouldn't you just flick it back to the front? Yeah, because you actually you, you say to your audience, oh, you're thick, 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 you're
then you can like include another story in that space. Just I like it. I think it's rather cool. I love that it's really busy and it's got lots to look at. I don't. I think it's too crowded. You've got uh, a lot of dense on the bottom inside and then these little burps of... One thing I would say is that your authors are very prominent. Surely your titles should be what I'm reading. Sorry. Yeah. Not by whoever. Also, yeah. that glow around the title, that make it hard to read? Shouldn't you transfer the glow to the author's name instead of the title? Okay. Yeah, it's what we can the fuzzy. But it's really creative. And I like the font you've put the numbers in. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, that you've got like different forms of things holding the, the pictures on and stuff, like you've got the tape and the drawing pencil and stuff. And glue. Yeah. And glue. Because the corners curled up. Mm-hmm. Have you ever got glue to st- Oh, it's blue tack. Yeah, it's blue tack. you got blue tack as well. And the, some of the corners are... Well, it's supposed to be some of the corners have curled up. Yeah, but I think it's cool, but I wouldn't do both of them on that one. I would do one on just one. Yeah. You only usually curl one. Fair if not the entire bottom. <coughs> so the cover on cover, it's not a lot. In the context of you've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Yeah, but they're supposed to be busy. You can't have a con- uh, cover page that's that busy. Why not? Because then it looks messy on the cover page. I like how it ties in. The only thing I would say is you know, you've got that ripped out section across the top. Yes. I'd have it all the way across the top because I can't rip corners. Or I'll have it rip along and then curl up at the edge. And if I want to get a corner I just start peeling out and it curls out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, where you've kept the title and the text consistent, you've made your mark more profound and more... Professional. Not professional, but you know where it's like, it's like the power of re- repetition. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. But yeah, I think it's, I think it's rather cool. I would change how you cut her out though, because it looks like you tried to get it to the line and you haven't got quite close enough. Yeah. I'd make that a deliberate shape. But I think it's really cool, I really like it. With the ripped effect, I think that it's good, because you can see the bits popping up from the from the pictures and stuff. So yeah. I, I rather like that, but where that one's a border, I would have this one as a border too. So yeah. I bring it down there, and then it will tie in better with that that spread, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. But I think I can't on contents page. It's not really showing. Well, you have it's got just to, covered up with stuff. You have got to think that with if this was a real magazine, it's going to be printed out in a much higher quality than those little handouts. So you, so you'd be able to see it better then. Yeah. It doesn't affect where the that's not going to affect the quality of the magazine. Isn't going to affect where the pictures go. No, but it's going to affect how much they pop out. Because when you look at a magazine, it's all very glossy and it pops out well. (laughs) Yes, I think it. I think it works really well. So, then you, you, you're awfully quiet over there in the corner. I shall literally speak now. The floor is yours. I'm going to slap you in the face in a minute and it will hurt. You'll probably enjoy it, right? Like. Yeah, I think, I think it's really, I think it's more goth than texto. Te- texto. Techno. Shut up. <laughs> Techno. Um, as you can see, our lovely little maiden here who's wearing lovely colours of your dad's Well, this was a gothic <laughs> article, so it, it was meant to kind of reach more yeah, to the, the gothic side. The, the, type, the, type, the title page. The, co- like the, the cover, cover and the content page. Isn't that meant to grab two different sides of audience? For me, be, being a goth first hand, I think it looks amazingly for me, but if I was to wear that colourful cardigan <laughs> and a bright pink top, I'd be like, Where's the pink? There's no pink! There's, there's not much colour in it, uh, yeah, that's, that's true. She has there grey. is colour in it, it's just not. Yeah, I do have grey. Grey band. <laughs> but most of it's pink! 
Purple. Orange. Okay, no, yellow. Yellow. But, red. But yeah, no, I think she has a point. You could do with having some more Green. colours in it. Yes, I, I think it works well. Because it's yeah. it's you flip it over, you flip the colours over to make the text easier to read. Yeah. But it still works really well. Yeah. Yeah, it does work really well. Yes, I do. But I would change the the, the paragraph. You know, the, the block the first paragraph, yeah. Because that looks like an answer as well. Yeah. No, Fair I enough. think you should keep it like that. Do you? Because if you were if you were really interested in like for example, I'm very expert at doing artist research and you've got a skin, you've got a skin for information, you've got a skin for information. If you just um like for example if you wanted to find a question, a certain specific question, it's easier to find through the text, and then you wouldn't have to skim through the entire intro of the as well. So I think I think you should keep it like that, or maybe put if you were to follow G's answer, maybe put it in a slightly different colour. Yeah, just yeah. Do it ever so slightly, yeah. not much, but to say that this is separate, it's not a question or an yeah. answer. And well, then I you think you should keep the layout it. the same. Oh yeah, I like the layout. I think the layout's really good. Awesome. Well, I was kind of hoping that like the layout would tell you that it's different. It does, but it needs more colour. That's good. I think it's really good. I think I, I like how you've always got the, the balance of the pictures one side and the words the other. Mm. Awesome. It ties in it ties in well, I think, yeah. What I would say is that looking at it overall your cover page looks a bit distant. So maybe you could use like the same colour as the uh, blue of the background here. Yeah. In the back of your cover page. Yeah, it's like a swirl of it or something. Mm. Just to, to introduce it from the start. Well you could have like because you've got rips everywhere else, just have a rip along it. And then have that on the other side of the rip. Yes. Yeah, but maybe look, maybe you know, dark tech. Maybe look like that's been ripped out and stuff. Or Fair enough. You could, yeah, you could rip it off like you've done here, just a straight line, and have it slightly different. So it's like you've ripped the top page off and it's showing through. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. It's a bit cliche, but it's good. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it does actually. Awesome. Yes. She attracts my attention. It's a bit like My Little Pony. Hmm. But it's just really cool though. Star. It's like someone going up to Charlie, let's go to Full on Star Mountain. Candy it's a bit girly. It's really good though. It is really good. Like, no, the it's not. Really Shut up. The name's really imaginative, but it's just a bit like My Little Pony. Yeah, but there's it's supposed to be the, the the uh, name of a young girl singer, so isn't it gonna be? Yeah. Yeah, I think it works really well. Yeah. I mean, you can really tell she's like some naive little child. She doesn't sound professional because she's not going to in her first interview. Yes, I do. It fits 
fits really well with the rest of the magazine, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. And on its own page. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough. I would say add some colour, not too much. Maybe, maybe um, like a bright colour, but make it dark. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I tried to do with the contents page background to get it really intense. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Just add like a fluorescent colour and then make it dark. Maybe get rid of the bottom left hand picture of me looking cross eyes. <laughs> it's because that's very The camera really doesn't good. know that it's you. So now the you've just told now does. everyone. <laughs> Fine. But but yeah no I like it I like the pictures I think it's cool. I, I like that you've got like uh, it, she's all dark and I mean and moody but then you've got this random flash of um, blue in the background. Yeah. Yeah. I like that I think that's really cool. Be it a side effect of what you were photo uh, photographing well, or then, intended to be there it's still yeah, quite good. It reminds me of an artist Gre Gre Gregory Kurston the way he um, I mean you can't see Superman hmm. but the way he. Um, Creates his images with tension, and I think your magazine holds a lot of like, tension yeah. and stress. But it does it really well. So if you, but in a way where if you read it, you don't get tense and stressed. Yeah. It's all kind of loose, but tense. It's got like this atmosphere to it. It's really good. Awesome.